Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2. Uh, today's topic we're going to be talking about Dr. Theodore Fujita. Uh, first of all, he, he's, a gen he's a super genius. Uh, he's the one that created the, uh, the Fujita scale. And later on, 2007, was uh, enhanced Fujita scale. So this is the life of Dr. Theodore Fujita. Uh, doc, Dr. Fujita uh, went to college at Meiji College of Technology in Tokyo, uh, Japan, where he uh, he learned uh, about meteorology. Then he moved to uh, Chicago and became became uh, a professor there. Also, in his studies. Uh, one of the biggest studies uh, he ever had was the uh, super uh, super outbreak uh, of uh, April third through the fourth, nineteen seventy four. Uh, that was a giant outbreak uh, with. Uh, With nine states in it, that, that's pretty impressive. And then you see this picture, which is one of the tornadoes that was in that outbreak. Dr. Fujita didn't only study tornadoes, but only studied, studied microbursts. So uh, he studied the microburst from the JFK airport. And uh, this is one of the first ra uh, radar images of a microburst. Yeah, that's pretty impressive of how Dr. Fujita uh, became to learn uh, this stuff. It's really impressive and it's really, really nice to, to have it in the future. Uh, later on, uh, Fujita uh, created the Fujita scale, which rated uh, how, uh, how strong the tornado is, uh, what the wind speed is, and so like a it, an F zero is like a light, an F one's moderate, and at an F two is uh, considerable. Uh, and F3 is severe, F4 is devastating, F5 is incredible. But in 2007, uh, I think it was 2007, 2008, uh, the meteorology world increased the, the Fujita scale to an, the enhanced Fujita scale, which allows uh, researchers to determine uh, what the tornado speed is. So, uh, Dr. Fujita created a tor tornado like simulator and uh, to test uh, what to put in the Fujita scale. Uh, and also with Fujita, uh, Dr. Uh, Greg. Forbes, which who works with the Weather Channel, he he worked with Doctor uh, Ted Fujita, and he learned as well. Uh, sadly, uh, Doctor Fujita passed away November nineteenth, night uh, nineteen ninety nine in Chicago, Illinois, but uh, is fe featured. Uh, all the stuff that he committed to the meteorology world will pass on to to other stuff that could be usable in the future. Uh, if you want to learn more, um, uh, I I do have a, a documentary about uh, 
Dr. Fujita. Uh, I'll be putting it on YouTube in about the uh, next uh, one, two days. Well, thanks, guys. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I'll s guess I'll see you guys later.